Open roads and delicious smells coming from the Tattakara. Kochi is one of the best places for taking a beautiful drive and eating authentic food. Welcome to another episode of Car Khana by Car and Bike, India's largest used car network. We are in Kochi, Kerala, God's own country, and I can't wait for you guys to meet our guest today. Let's go. I'm at the Car and Bike Superstore here in Kochi. My guest today is somebody who's had an amazing journey and he started with a simple dream of making people laugh. Please welcome the very hilarious and super talented Danish Said. Yeah, what an introduction that is. He's also a dancer. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure though. The moment Absolutely. somebody says hilarious, you know, a lot of people put you in front of a still camera and go be funny. Yeah. I'm like, kill me right now. So one photo. Sir, one joke, take please. funny, funny yeah, girl. In the joke, photo, please. you have to be funny. Uh, I also call you super talented. Thank you. That's that's good. If you were to describe to somebody, yeah. uh, somebody who who's not on social media, this is what I am. Basically, I'm living an extended childhood. Ah. I still make funny voices. For those people, I mean, funny voices are not like, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, like out of characters. You build characters. Right? Yeah, but that's because I've seen and observed people. I'm very observant. Like my uh, best friend's dad would speak the way my Malayali character does. Okay. Uh, How? You know, like uh, we are currently in Kochi and it's a oh, great city. Oh wow! So all these characters are from real life. Do you send them a check, Uncle? Thank you. Five percent goes. No, to I you. don't. But I have registered a few of them, like Mr. Nags. Okay. The RCB character, yeah. like P. With the with the with with the mustache. Yeah, I've, 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 I've met him. But Mr. Nags, for example, is an IP. Yeah. That uh, I've uh, like registered. Interesting person. <laughs> yeah, very interesting person. So it's real people, like this voice that I do of a character called Asgar, which is uh, hello, my Asgar. Can you hear me like this kind of voice? Uh, I don't know if you heard. It actually happened on an Uber drive. I was uh, driving in an Uber. The driver spoke. I found his voice so interesting. I gave him more money and said, "Take it, but keep talking to me." Now own your voice forever. Also, I just feel like my career is not really mine. It's so secondhand because I'm just copying people. You are not. Though. And this is a secondhand car shop. Oh. What is your take on secondhand cars? I. That's my question to you. You. By the way, you're trying to take my job. No, buddy. Let me ask the question. What do you think about uh, secondhand car? Terrible idea. Why? What? You know, like if somebody had to buy my car, there's so much that's gone in my car. I've farted in my car. I've cried in my car. I've laughed in my car. I've closed deals in my car. But I think that in general, what's happening now with the global chip shortage and us reading up about how expensive cars and so on and so forth have become, just buy a secondhand car. It's not worth buying a new one. Current affairs stick. Also, uh, people who are. Financially inclined. As soon as you take a brand new car out of the store, it's a depreciating asset. Also, when you buy a pre-used car, you can buy a car that you could otherwise not afford. Yeah. For guys who are going to like first jobs, what was your first car? Was it a pre-used car? Yeah, my first job, uh, job and uh, car were both pre-used. Job pre was also pre-used. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody else did it and then I did it after yeah. that. I bought a Santro from uh, my uncle who's uh, no more. God bless his soul. I remember he kind of got new tires on them for me. He gave me wow. a maroon Santro that uh, I hold very dearly till date. Yeah. Now we got a there are two things. One, we're going to eat. Of yeah, course. Of course. But before that, we're going to be driving around, chatting. Yeah. And we got to select. A nice car yeah. from all of these amazing, fantastic cars, and, a lot of and you'll get to do it. But you have to do something for it. Make any characters and try to sell yeah. one of these cars to me. Actually, they don't need selling because they're already amazing. Come, let's try. Oh, this is Vitara Brezza, dude. I did this car at the Auto Expo. You did it. As in, I didn't do the car. I mean to say, like, I. Uh, what, what this is not. Is this the character? Is this? No, okay. no, it's not. I, I'm coming in. I'm coming to the. I'm coming to the what store. What do you call that event? I'm coming to the store. You're the in. Auto Expo. I did this. I launched this car. As in, I didn't launch it. It was there. Good yeah. afternoon. Oh, hello, sir. I was just cleaning this car for you to check out. Oh. Welcome to Car and Bike. This is the superstore here in Kochi. I yeah. have no information, but all I can tell you is <laughs> it's, it's a, a good great. Car. It's a good car with a great bonnet. I want to see another uh, salesman. S for sexy. <laughs> you need it in your life. Okay, second. Uh, hey uh, guys, uh, this is Run Vijay. Give me your jacket. <laughs> this is what you do to your customers? You just take their clothes away? Yeah. Before we strip you off your money. <laughs> And hey guys, uh, this is Run Vijay. I I've given many insignificant things away before, like an upgrade certificate. <laughs> 
I'd like to give you this car. I should give it to you because that's my job and I got to pay EMIs. Okay, next. Good evening. Bro, crazy scenes, bro. Damn good, bro. Welcome to Car and Bike, bro. Nice good little color. cherry. Yard wood, like red in color and all that stuff. Will it go with my personality? Bro, it doesn't matter. You just take it, okay? You, you take it, your personality becomes better. Yeah, bro. And it doesn't even have a price tag on it. It's free. It's a favor to our esteemed customers and people who host our show for us. This is a good pitch, man. How, how can you not say yes to this? See for take it. <laughs> I think we'll take this one. All right. Growing up, my mom used to ride a kinetic Honda. Oh. Okay? And my sister and I would travel with her triples, you know, like I would be sitting in the yeah. front, my sister would be at the back. And we went through a lot until I remember one day pushing her to buy her first car. Which was? Which was an Alto. So I kind of had to tell her, listen, you need this car because it'll keep you safe because it's three of us. You. And that's why when I see today, when I see people driving an Alto or a Santro or whatever, it gives me immense joy because I'm like, this person is safe within that little box of yeah. engineering or this design. So, our first car in our house, uh, grandfather had a second-hand uh, Fiat. Okay. So, we used to travel from different parts of the country, get to where he was in Udhyana and then go for a road trip. You didn't have a car growing up? No, we got a car much later and that was a Maruti 800 yeah. without the AC. So, then grandfather bought an Alto. So, it was his first brand new car. Dad, mom, Harman and me. Went all across Manali, Rotang, all of that in the Alto. What great small car, good power, great AC, music yeah, I system. It. Yeah, I love the Alto. Yeah. But but the thing is, my mom and I would fight about reversing the car because the worst fucking thing one can put you through is to reverse it and park it. Especially parallel parking, which I still don't know how to do. Really? Yeah, like I'm. I'm Never get a license in Dubai. Yeah, I failed. I failed the test in Bahrain. You know that. <laughs> Guy asked me to take a double left. So I fucking turned left and I went straight and there was no other left. Then later he tells me, I said you turn. I'm like, tell me you turn there. No, why are you fucking saying? Double left. <laughs> Double left. This is not even the destination, but on the way you find such spots where I feel like you should take a moment, take it in. To savor it, right? Yeah. Any road trip uh, memories? Fun road uh... trips? No, not really fun. It was quite sad, honestly, because I went out with my uh, parents and they ended up fighting on the road trip and uh, uh, they're not together anymore now. So it's uh, not the most pleasant one. That's a different take on, like, I've asked, obviously asked people this question. <laughs> I'm but fucking with you, no. <laughs> no, no, I'm fucking with you. It got awkward. <laughs> no, no, no. I was like, oh, uh, that's a different take. Good. That's good. <laughs> The fun road trip, I think, was from college. Uh, we had exams and one of them, Varun, basically wanted to drive all the way to Bangalore from Coimbatore. I studied in Coimbatore. Uh. And he wouldn't budge. They kidnapped me. And you didn't give your exams? I didn't give my exam. I was shit scared. I called my mum and I was like, I'm not doing this exam because of this incident that's happened. They abducted me. Did you made a mental picture of this? I... Sent it to many friends? No, no, no yeah, I'm not mental... that guy. Yeah. yeah, okay, let's go for lunch. Come. So you got your first car. How old were you then? 22. Oh, nice. That's a good time to get a car. Oh, and 23, then... I think. Yeah, because I oh, did that's radio. that's too late, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 the reason I'm saying this is because I did radio in Bahrain and Dubai for one year. Yeah. And then your every Indian dream there is to basically make money. I'll uh, live in so much. Yeah. I'll save so much. Come back. Come back. Buy gold. Build a house. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll live happily ever after. So I'd save a little bit, not enough to build a house or buy gold. <laughs> but I could get like a second-hand Santro for myself. Nice. For me, my Santro was special because I got my first uh, child home in that car. My cat, uh, Red. I think the first person to teach me how to love unconditionally. Wow. And I'd gone for some work somewhere and my mum just sold it off before I could even come back. Till date, I just regret not taking a picture with that not car. Not bye. And if somebody out there uh, is watching this... I just want a picture. Wow, get in touch with him. Also, kind sir, if you haven't registered this car on your name, I request you to please do it because uh, those bills are coming to me every time you jump a traffic light or uh, don't wear a seat belt. Please. It's still on your name. <laughs> yeah, man. Any special dates in a car? No, not really, no. But I think the most special drive I've had is with Anya. So, I proposed to her 
in a car. No, no, I not in a car. No, no, not in a car. Did you do anything special? No, I bought the ring and then I put it around Red's neck. And yeah. then Red's struggling with that box. And Anya just walks right past him. Doesn't notice. Doesn't notice. I'm like, baby, he's struggling. Pick him up. And then she picked him up. And then she's like, what is this box? So I gave her the ring and then we drive to this friend's wedding in Chikmagalur. Okay. Four and a half hours from Bengaluru, you drive, 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 drive. So uh, we finished the wedding, we came back four and a half hours again. And as we're about to hit home, she goes, oh, Dan, I've forgotten my ring. She's like, I think it's in the room. So then I turn my car around and I'm driving four and a half hours again. Then I'm eating like my Pringles with extra salt because she's crying, the tears are falling in there. And then she's like, here, eat. So I drove for four and a half hours and the ring was right there, we found it. And then went and engraved it. We got married on uh, 9th of June, but it says 11th June here. What? We just messed up on the date, we're just forgetful people. So now, uh, in order for us to go uh, eat food, you have to do really well in a challenge that I'm going to throw at you. It's uh, a rapid fire round. Okay. First question. Yeah. What do you prefer on a long drive? Listening to radio or a podcast? Podcast. Yeah, what kind or of an audio book. Nice. Next question. Stick or automatic? Oh, automatic any day. Favorite weather for a drive? Doesn't matter, the AC is on. <laughs> Sexiest car ever built? Wow, that's a tough one. Santro, the nicest car built. I'd say a lot of heart. Uh, but sexiest car, in all honesty, I'm right now absolutely digging the Range Rover Vela. Mm. A celebrity who could be a chauffeur for you and why? I think uh, Gaurav Kapoor, and I say this with a lot of respect, he's kind of driven all of us down a path which we probably never had a clue could be a profession. He's literally in the driver's seat. So, brother, one of the things that you do, very interesting, is that on your uh, radio show, you used to call people. Oh, yeah, I used to love doing prank calls. And then prank call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking we should call somebody and like... Yeah. Who do you want to call? Do you know this guy called Prince? Yeah, <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's prank call Prince. Hello? Hi, Prince. Hi. Run, Vijay. Haan ji, Paji. Kya hala? Vadiya, vadiya. Aaj eda show kar rahe na, main car khana da. Haan. Haan. Oda producer hai thai, South da. Acha. O menu puch rahe ha ki onne fitness da show karna hai. Koi North Indian boy na. So, sir is sitting with me only. Hello, 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 uh, Mr. Mr. Prince. Hello. Actually, uh, he said uh, you are a fitness person. So, what, what kind of uh, like uh, you are a ka karate master or something? Uh, um, uh, brother, your voice is cracking. Actually, I'm not getting you. Yeah, yeah. Please, uh, uh, please. I'm calling you, sir. Please, I'm uh, slightly elderly. So you please call me, sir, uh, not brother. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm a professional bodybuilder. I was a bodybuilder, and then, I, then okay. I. I'm into okay. acting and everything. He is actor? Yeah, he's also so, a big, uh, big actor. In... Wa wa what uh, film uh, you, uh, you have done? Any film? If you know uh, Big Boss show and uh, Rodi. Uh, Bro, Rodi is uh, Sir Anvij, right? Uh, he was, uh, he was... My show only, my show only. Why yeah. you, you were anchoring, so he was uh, like a side actor? No, no, no. But, but, sir, biggest show, uh, but you know Big Boss, right? Big South Boss, also. I know. Big Boss, I know. Yeah. So he won Big Boss. Big boss. He is a winner of Big Boss. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry, Mr. Prince. Sorry, I did no, not know. No, no, no problem, brother. Please call, sir. I, okay. Please I, call, I, sir. I, not I, a. I, please call, sir. Not a. Oh, yeah. Thoda, but apne to vada hai. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm his, I'm his brother. Yeah. Means, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yes. But uh, this is not enough qualification, right? Uh, like just winning like a reality shows is not. Uh, and Vijay, I said I want like a celebrity. I said. He's got uh, four points. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, sir, uh, my full family is in, into bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah. But we are not looking at doing the show with like a full family. We want one person. What I said was actually I want a. Some celebrity like a star, I said. If you uh, if you search my name, then then you got to know. Yeah, I, uh, let me let me one second. Yes, oh, or no, sir. Ada, you know, just a little. I'm mobile phone. I don't know. But you, you go tell them that Prince will see them. Body building, all that. Yeah, yeah. I'm Google. So he has done. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing actually Rodi's uh, Arbajan Singh face is there. His uh, face is not anywhere. Ranveer, you told me he's a star. He's a big. Uh, uh, but you know, my profile page is not there. You have the. Uh, I will send you his profile, sir. I, you take my number. No, no, Ranveer. See, I told you that you recommend celebrity. You have recommended and are now taking ten minutes of my time unnecessarily. You please talk to him. I'm done. Please. Please. <laughs> Bro, this is Danish said we just pulled a prank on you. <laughs>
So bro, now you are also part of this episode of Car Khana with Danish Seth. I love it, I love it, brother. Thanks, bro. Bye. Bye. <laughs> such, a, such a good spot. Yes, that was good, bro. Thank you. Good you, fun. You were ready for it, man. Now I'm going to take you to a local place that uh, I've zeroed down on. Uh, really nice, authentic food. Guam. Guam. Like they say in Kerala, which means let's go. What do you think of this romantic setting that I've done for yeah, you? Yeah, it's uh, Let's very get to know each other. Nothing like being in the backwaters here in Cochin and then getting a nice meal, yeah. So, when you travel in India or anywhere when you're traveling, do you have like a comfort food that, oh man, I've been away from home. Yeah. I should order this so that... I really think dal and rice. <laughs> this is a common answer, but I will tell you that. Growing up, what kind of food was uh, made at home? A lot of uh, curries and... Uh, rice and dal. South Indian? Uh, yes, yeah, some of it was also South Indian because, like, for example, puliogre is a thing that my mom made at home. It's okay. basically tamarind rice with groundnuts. Oh, wow. Uh, or lemon rice. Like, even till date, like, the rasam in my house has to be a certain way. Wow. You can't mess with the rasam in our house. You just can't. Any cooking in your repertoire? No, of course not. Why? I'm horrible. I wouldn't even make it to, like, the M of MasterChef Australia. The chances I'll stab myself. <laughs> Anytime where you were supposed to arrange food and everything? No, never. Nobody has given me the responsibility till date. Because they know I can't do it. They know I can't. Like, I'll give you an example, right? We uh, were going for a holiday the other day. We reached the Bangalore airport and I forgot if I had booked our tickets or not. I said, shit, I don't She's know. She's with you? I... She's with me. And I said, shit, I don't know if I booked your tickets. And she just gave me that, you know, that blank stare of, I'll kill you. Then I checked, luckily I had. So I, I'm not good at some jobs. What are you good at, bro? Let's just go back and. Why do you think I'm doing 10 things? <laughs> but cooking, you're not good at, but eating, you're great at. Eating, yeah, I, I can eat, yeah. You know? Mm. Oh, good, man. Mm. I haven't tried the fish curry yet. The jala parota and the prawns is great. The squid is great. You know, I feel sometimes we just kind of travel so much and then you go home. And I really feel there's no place like home. And I stayed so. Like, away from home for such a long time. Because you were in a boarding school? Mm. Mm. How was the eating culture in the boarding? That was good. That was really good. Wednesday and Saturday yeah. was very special in our lives because they served us bread with anda burji. I don't think I've had a better anda burji than that. I have a challenge for you. Oh, this is the cha this is challenge. Because you're such a creative guy. I don't know, yeah. I'm going to say some uh, names of things. Mm. Like vegetables and stuff like that and food. Yeah. If they were actually characters. Yeah. What would they sound like? Okay. Fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For yeah, example, yeah. Bangan. Ah, oh, you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't. I, I, Bangan is nothing. You know what I mean? It's just like, what is it? A k karela. Bro, oh, you fucking gotta really fucking talk about me because you know mm -hmm. it's so fucking uh, aggro. Yeah. Like fucking. Doesn't taste you well. Like it? You fucking hate it. One of the two things. Savia. Hi, so I'm Savia. Um, I'm just like nice and delicate. And yeah. Yeah? What about Imli? Ah, bro, like fucking crazy mm. scenes, bro. Like I just enter and then like. Like male Imli? Wow, yeah. bro. Yeah. Mm. Why I was thinking female Imli? Mirchi? Mirchi is very Ambrish Puri. Rani! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! How are you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, Mirchi is very like that. Alright, man, that was amazing. I'm too full, bro. What food? Great uh, food. Food coma, man. Sweating. All the spices. I can't do anything after this. You can. No. And you will. Please, I'll say you do no. it yourself. Look, sunset on the Just go. Imagine this what is your romantic plan? setting. Yeah. Going into the backwaters. I can't. And you and me. Come, let's go. <laughs> come on, come on. Your food will get digested. Come. Come, come, let's go. Don't have to wash hands. It's <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nandi. Nice day, man. I really enjoyed myself. Thanks for taking your time. No, no, it was the money. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, went, we went around uh, Kochi. Yeah. Beautiful uh, scenes. But I'm actually excited to know what you're up to. What's next for you? Um, I'm doing a film. Um, wow. 
Yeah. Big uh, film? Big film. Hey, it's on your face. You're I, excited, huh? Yeah, I am. I can't just talk about it though, but I do know that it's perhaps one of the biggest opportunities of my life. Best of luck. Thank you. I'm, I'm very, I'm fully aware of it and I am very grateful to just this journey that I've had so far. I put myself out there. I just finished doing a show with Mr. Hansal Mehta. Hmm. It's the first time I'm saying this. I've never said it anywhere else. Um, exclusive. Ex exclusive! Exclusive! <laughs> yeah. So it's quite cool. I mean, like you kind of just realize that you end up traveling a fair distance without even knowing sometimes. Nice. Traveling is a good question. What is your next car? I think it's the, the Velar, the Range Rover Velar. <laughs> or I'll look up uh, this car and bike. Hopefully, they'll have a used one. I'll just pick it up from there. Thanks a lot, brother. Thanks for being here. And you Thank guys you. Uh, keep watching Car Khana. I'm going to be in another city very soon with another friend of mine. Yeah. And, uh, We're not ending the show here, right? Like, driving around, tell me to leave, right? Driving around with another friend and hopefully eating some fantastic food. And we'll miss you, bro. I miss you and too, man. Now I'm going to go. You, you figure, yeah, yeah, figure you're good with all okay, Bye, bro. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, who's taking me back though? Turn, turn, turn. Slowly, yeah. Huh?